All right, turning now to weather. A big change from yesterday. We were a little cooler because of all that rain, but today a lot of sunshine, Daniel. <laughs> you know, it's just reminding you that we are in summer and uh, thankfully not seeing too much rain. You remember the event that happened a year ago where we saw all that flooding in many New Orleans neighborhoods. That's not the picture today. Looking at some sunshine, but again, those warmer temperatures and that's going to be with us as we go into next week. Here is a look at what's going on right now and we do have some rainfall just off to our northwest. A few showers down toward the coast, but overall we are looking at a pretty nice evening. If you plan on heading out for some dinner, we'll continue to see uh, those nicer conditions until we get toward the middle part of the week. Here's a few showers down toward Plaquemines Parish moving uh, into parts of Lafourche, and we'll continue to see uh, that chance for a few showers this evening, although I'm expecting most areas to stay dry. We have this area of high pressure and I noticed yesterday I had it over here today here. Tomorrow is going to continue to build toward the west and what that means is dry air and when that moves in it causes sinking air and doesn't allow much in the way of cloud development. So we're going to see some lower rain chances over the next several days. However, it's going to continue to move off toward the west as we get toward the middle parts of the week. We're going to see this kind of dip from the jet stream and that's going to allow better chances for rain. Unfortunately, as we get toward next weekend, but over the next several days, pretty low rain chances through at least Thursday, but still that chance for some afternoon showers or an isolated thunderstorm. Temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer. We were in the middle 80s Friday and Saturday, but these low 90s are going to be sticking around as we progress throughout the week. Temper high temperature today at the airport 92, which is the average. So we did make it into the 90s. Remember yesterday I was talking. We may not make it to the low 90s, but without the rainfall and the cloud cover this morning, it did allow us to warm back up into the low 90s for most areas, although we see a few upper 80s down toward the coast. Wow. <laughs> I have a nice little spider here. I was going to show you the nice um, the lake, but I um, have a little visitor. So we're going to have to look at that for just a second. Uh, your forecast for the evening will continue to see a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Bye, little friend. Temperature around 80 degrees around midnight. And then checking out your forecast as we get into your Monday. Again, that 20 to 30% rain chance as we get into the afternoon. And when you don't have the rain, you're going to be able to climb into the lower 90s. So this evening we're looking good as we start your Monday. Not too bad for those morning commutes. By the afternoon, we start to see that chance for some spotty showers or thunderstorms. Not too much in the way of coverage. And if you do get some rain, it's not going to last too long. Going into Tuesday, we'll see that same pattern starting out good in the morning. Then as we heat up, we start to see some rain chances. Our next big rain chance, unfortunately, is going to arrive as we get into next weekend. So if you're already making your plans for next weekend, just be aware we're going to see that chance for some rain and storms. Otherwise, high temperature right around 91 to 92 degrees. Right now we're still setting into the 80s to near 90. You're still holding on to 90 at the Kenner Airport tonight, looking at a mostly cloudy sky mid 70s to near 80 degrees and then into the afternoon hot and a little breezy. We'll have an east wind 5 to 10 miles per hour with that slight rain chance. Otherwise, look for those highs to continue to climb over the next several days, 92, 93 each day through Thursday. And then notice as we get toward the weekend, we start to see those rain chances increasing some. So that does drop temperatures a couple of degrees. Uh, we'll continue to watch that forecast as we get closer to next weekend.